Good afternoon. This is the fourth and final session in the Let's Talk Light like series, Sustainability Designed to Help. This is part of the Make the Change campaign um, for, from Thorn Lighting. And the previous three recordings you can find, they're available on the Go To Stage channel. You can see that on the right hand side of the slide. Okay, so I'm your presenter today. My name is Mark Helm. I'm the Quality and Lean Six Sigma Manager for Spennymore Operations. I'm responsible for quality, so new product development quality, um, production quality, and customer quality. I'm also responsible for the environmental management system, the energy management system, and the health and safety in, on the Spennymore uh, plant. Just a bit on the organisation today, um, the procedure, all participants are muted for the session. The procedure for questions, questions will be answered separately and individually per email. So we'll start with the six principles for sustainability. Firstly, circular economy. So we want to move away from the linear economy to a more circular economy. This really focuses on minimizing and preventing waste throughout the product's life cycle and recycling the valuable materials. It also looks at, can we reuse components at the end of life? Can we um, refurbish or upgrade our light fittings at the end of life? So potentially the body or the housing is still okay. We can potentially refurbish with newer, updated, more efficient LEDs. Or could we use the materials to obviously recess materials that you can recycle so at the end of the life it's easy to recycle and the materials can be the recycled materials can be used in other applications or other products if we look at energy savings so intelligent lighting controls innovative optics and efficient leds all play a part in providing better lighting while obviously consuming less materials and energy so we're looking at like at these 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 controls and and um, and optics to ever increase the energy savings we receive. Sustainability material choices, sustainable material choices. So we want to use materials that will pri that will prolong a product's life, whilst being easy to break down for recycling. So as I mentioned in the circular economy part. Um, we want to be able to break the materials down so they are easily to be recycled and we can reuse or in different applications or different products. Environmental product declaration or EPD. This is a, a very detailed document with information on the life cycle performance of our products and the environmental impact of the materials and components used. So EPDs are, are available for Many of our products, they're uh, available from the customer can request and they are available on our website. Constant research and innovation. Okay, so we're looking at in, in the new product development process, we're looking at introducing um, circular design rules. So these design rules look at, so right at the start of the product's life cycle in the new product development, we're looking at how can we uh, design our product so we can reuse components? We can break down um, the, the, the components so they can be easily recyclable. And we can potentially refurbish and upgrade so we can easily remove lead modules, easily remove drivers, and to replace them so we don't have to destroy the whole luminaire. We can replace modules, drivers, to the latest um, efficiency upgrades. And very importantly, corporate social responsibility. So in May 2020, the Zumtobel Group, of which Thorn Lighting are part of, was awarded a silver medal for its commitment to sustainability by the internationally recognised agency EcoVardis. Okay, sustainable products and services. You may not know, but artificial lighting is currently responsible for roughly 13% of worldwide electricity consumption. This has reduced from 20% in the early years of the 21st century and will continue to decline by 2030 due to the use of state-of-the-art lighting solutions and lighting controls, as previously mentioned. Efficiency efforts by the global lighting industry 
could reduce the share of electrical energy required for artificial lighting. So we all have our part to play and here at Thorne we, we do are looking at more efficient lighting to reduce this impact on the environment. So Thorn and sustainability are intertwined. Thorn has been working for many years to steadily improve the energy efficiency of its products while at the same time integrating sustainability aspects alongside the product life cycle. So if we just quickly have a look at this, uh, this uh, chart here, global warming potential of a luminaire over its lifetime. So as you can see, the life, it breaks it down the CO2 equivalent per life cycle phase. So the first life cycle phase is materials and manufacturing, so production, which is what I'm heavily involved in. Then we go on to the logistics phase, which is getting the luminaire from the, the factory to the distribution center to, and then to the end user. And then we go on to the use stage. So potentially the customer will be using the product for five years, 10 years, sometimes we warrant up to 20, 25 years. And then obviously there's the end of life. What do we do at the end of life? Okay, so this chart, the, the, the bigger the animal, basically the more CO2 equivalent um, is used at that, at that different life cycle phase. So as you can see, just as an example at the use stage, this is the largest CO2 equivalent we have. So if we took a sample luminaire from 2014 and the same luminaire which has been upgraded and made more energy efficient from 2020, you can see that the CO2 has decreased by nearly 30% from the first luminaire generation. So from, if you look at the use stage from 2014, there was 749 kilograms of CO2, whereas in 2020, we reduced that to 518 kilograms CO2. So excellent efficiency improvements, helping the environment and obviously the global warming potential through our product development. The only increase you can see is from the logistics part of the life cycle phase, but that has only gone up by 0.7 to 1.5 kilograms CO2. So there's work to do there, but in the large use stage, we have made massive improvements. So technology for sustainability. LED technology has led to a greater focus on intelligent and internet linked lighting. So we can use our four mobile phones, Bluetooth connectivity to, to set the, uh, the luminaire how we want it set, to turn it off, turn it on, dim it how we, how we require. The development, production and sale of innovative, sustainable products and services represent the fundamental building blocks for the success of Thorn for the future. We develop an, in, an innovative, sustainable product and services portfolio. The portfolio is based almost entirely on LED technology. And there has been a steady increase in the revenue from project and software oriented services. Okay, sophisticated steps for change. So here at Spennymore, we've achieved, um, we have reduced our energy consumption year on year for, for since we moved into the new factory back in 2009-10. Uh, However, over the last two to three years, we've, we've um, recently, so, in 2018, we've been certified by BSI to the Energy Management System, so ISO 50001. Now, this means that uh, you have to, to keep this certificate, you have to show energy improvement and energy efficiency improvement every six months that we get audited. We've successfully done this here at Spennymore, uh, and I can proudly say last week we had our our um, April um, 2021 audit, which we passed with flying colours. Um, so again, energy consumption has been reduced and being used more efficiently. ISO 14001 is the environmental management system, which we've been certified to for many, many years, but we got recertified to the new 2015 standard, uh, obviously in 2015. The main two points of the, the environmental management system are to comply to the environmental legislation on spending more operations and to understand our significant environmental aspects and where we have them, we need to control or mitigate their impact to the environment. So ISO 14001 still relevant for spending more and again, we are audited 
every year or so by Quality Austria. Sustainability dashboard, so an energy dashboard we have, we, we, we use to measure the operational and product carbon footprints. So how do we do this? So real-time energy use with digital monitoring control. So we have 180 meters that meter our energy use for um, certain machinery, factory lighting, compressors. So we can, this is used using a software platform called Digital Energy. So for those 180 meters, it goes into a cloud-based solution, Digital Energy, which then populates our sustainability or energy dashboard. At any one moment in time, we, we, can, we, under, we know we have half hourly data that we can understand a laser machine's energy consumption, uh, a molder machine's energy, energy consumption, the lighting in the offices consumption. So we can look at our significant energy users and we can understand which, 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 which machines, et cetera, are using the most energy. And then we can look at those, make improvements and reduce our energy um, usage and improve our energy efficiency. And as part of the induction process, we have energy training for new employees, especially those who work on the SEUs, which are significant energy users like the paint plants, the molding machines. So additional measures in our factories. So we've uh, introduced smart lighting all throughout the factory and the offices. Um, this is probably uh, estimated to have saved 30 to 40 percent in electrical electricity usage for lighting the factory in the offices. Not only have we improved the lighting, uh, that's not the only facility improvement. We've um, we've improved our paint plant. So what we've done there is we've re-insulated to prevent any heat loss from the ovens. This in turn, because our paint plant uses probably 90% of the gas that we use on site, this in turn has enabled us to Im improve our efficiency in gas usage. So it's brought the gas usage down again, improving the, uh, the energy efficiency on site. Furthermore, if you look at the, the right hand picture, We've uh, implemented an iCart system. So iCarts are automated guidance vehicles. So two benefits to implementing this. One is to reduce the number of forklift trucks we have on site. So that again reduces the energy use consumption on site because the AGVs or the iCarts use a hell of a lot more, a hell of a lot less energy and take a lot less energy to charge. Second benefit and, and very important to this, the operational site is that we've improved the workplace transport. So we've we've reduced the forklift truck to human interaction on site. So we've dramatically improved the safety and reduced the risk of any potential accidents between forklift trucks and any of our operational staff. So a win-win. Improve your energy efficiency with Thorn. So Thorn will support and guide you through a project from the beginning to the very end. We take responsibility for managing the entire project, helping take a real weight off your soul shoulders. Every phase of a lighting project requires careful attention to detail, which is why we take the best possible care of your lighting solution. So how do we do that? The service support we, we can offer. So we do the planning. We check the, the initial requirements, and we do analysis of the existing installation. We look after the project management. We have a full implementation plan. We take care of the installation. So we deliver the lighting equipment to the site. We then install the new luminaires and controls and remove and recycle any old equipment if required. And then we handle the commissioning. So we get your lighting solution fully up and running to your satisfaction. We'll look at a case study for the Sunderland County Council who we rolled out over the last few years. So Sunderland uh, City basically did a full LED replacement of the whole city and the surroundings. We replaced 27,000 sodium lamps. We replaced it with our R2L2 and Civitech outdoor lantern families. So the, the advantage here is they'll use RPEC 
optics, which with precise light placement and no wasted light. What does that mean? It means no light spill into, uh, into the air, no light spill into people's gardens, people's homes. The light is directed exactly to where the task is required. So walking on pavements, motorists on roads, that is where the lighting is directed. We've created an additional 25% energy savings with preset dimming. So the, the, the R2L2 and Civitech outdoor lanterns left the factory with the drivers set to uh, dim, to dim. So that was an additional energy saving for the city of Sunderland. Their savings ran into the millions, so 2.4 million a year of savings. But more importantly for myself, we saved 9,000 tonnes of carbon CO2 equivalent savings year on year. So that was, as we discussed in there, with the 13% of artificial lighting, it, artificial lighting takes up 13% of the global electricity usage. That's a great saving that Thorn have, have, uh, have been able to, to produce. So our claim at Thorn, better conservation equals better sustainability. Conserve the environment to ensure a more sustainable world for the future. Okay, so that's the end of the session on sustainability. I hope you found it informative. Again, as mentioned at the start, the webinar or the session is available as a recording on GoToStage channel. Also, the other three um, sessions are also available on that GoToStage channel. Any questions, then please get in touch or in contact with your local responsible country manager. Or if you need to get in touch with myself, my email is there for you. Hope you've enjoyed and have a great day. Thank you very much.